emergency update i need you guys to listen to me okay hear me the information i'm about to tell you guys has never happened in the history of dragon ball legends and i'm so glad something is happening at the very least so we have confirmation from not only b jump thanks to the goat dbs hype but also the official dragon ball legends twitter accounts that shallot and before i continue no he's not getting super saiyan blue i i hope he's gonna get it soon but no it's not that but at the very least shallot is getting an update after three years shallot on the 17th of this month will be upgrading from a hero unit to a sparking unit now again i know it's not super saiyan blue shallot i know a lot of people can be like relatively disappointed about that However, me personally, I've been on the side of as long as they update the unit, I'm good. That is all I want them to do is update him because, and you guys can check like past videos, it makes no sense that the mascot of the game is inviolable. That makes no sense to me personally, but I'm going to break down what the official tweet from the Dragon Ball Legends Twitter accounts, I'm going to break down what the tweet says as well as the picture. And then afterwards, we can talk all about this because this is still really big news. So, the tweet says, Coming 517, update info number 6. Upgrade Shallot's rarity to Sparking. Not only can you change the rarity, but Shallot's stats and abilities before and after transformation will also get a massive boost. And then the picture says, Upgrade Shallot's rarity to Sparking. Not only can you change the rarity, but also uh, but Shallot's stats and abilities before and after transformation will also get a massive boost. So pretty much what the tweet said. Plus, certain costumes can now give Shallot new tags. That is big. You guys have no idea how big of an update to Shallot that is. Let me break down everything for you. So, Shallot is obviously the main character of Dragon Ball Legends. And because of him being the main character, he is customizable. You're able to teach him darn near any move in the game. Obviously there are some restrictions, but you can teach him darn near every move in the game. You're also able to change his outfits as well. Now, with Shallot, he also has access to specific Super Saiyan transformations. Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, and God. Those are all the transformations that he's able to access. And, he is the only attainable light type in the game. Now, why is all that information important? Well, because of him upgrading from a hero unit to a sparking unit, much like the official tweet said, that means that Shallot is gonna get a boost. And they, it literally said for all the transformations, I, I'm assuming also a base form as well. Like it, it would be really weird if base form didn't get a boost, but his forms are all getting a boost, all of them. You guys have no idea how big that is. That means that Saiyans, like, well, bare minimum, I should say. Saiyans, Super Saiyans, Super Saiyan 2, for whoever's ever using that, uh, Super Saiyan 3, and Super Saiyan God are all getting a mat. Well, okay, I won't say... Actually, no, it could be considered a massive boost. And I'll clarify. The reason why I consider it a massive boost is because whenever Shalit got a brand new transformation, he was in the meta. Like, point blank period, he was in there, right? Obviously, power creep was what knocked him off. But now he's upgrading from a hero unit to a sparking unit. And we've all seen Shallot's stats when he's maxed out at 14 stars. Obviously, we can't get him to 14 stars yet. But as a hero unit, if he was maxed out, based on his stats, he would be one of the best units in the game. As a hero unit, now he's being upgraded to a sparking unit. So his stats, I'm assuming, are going to be even better than they would have been previously. Not only that, those tags get a dedicated light type, which means that you're going to be dealing neutral damage with Shallot, but he will also be receiving neutral damage. Like, Shallot is a light type, which means he has zero element factor disadvantage. None. Dark types don't affect him, and the regular five element factors don't affect him. He has... Practically the best element factor in the whole game. Nobody can counter his element factor. It's impossible. 
So that's already extremely powerful. And again, you're able to teach him darn near any move. Moves that have the ability to faint. Moves that have the ability to knock down the opponent's hand. Stuff like that. So yeah, teaching Charlotte those type of moves while also being guaranteed neutral, while also being able to boost or well, you know, having him get his boost out as a spark unit is massive. Not only that, they also mentioned that certain costumes can now give Shallot new tags. I, I want you guys to really pay attention to that. Certain costumes can give Shallot new tags. I I can't believe what I'm hearing right now. So again, the main tags that Shallot would be on would be what? Uh, Game Originals, um, obviously Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan God, right? Those, oh, and of course, God Key, and of course, God Key. So, those would be like his main tags. Now, let's say for whatever reason, right? Like, obviously, it's for specific things, but um, let's say that for whatever reason, you give him, I'm trying to think of an outfit, because uh, there's, okay. There are other outfits in the game, but bear with me, right? And this is completely hypothetical. Let's say that you give Shalit um, Trunks' outfit, right? That's also an outfit I've rocked in videos before. He could get the hybrids tag. What? I, what? <laughs> like, what? Like, again, that's hypothetical. Like, I don't know if, if they're gonna go that far. Like, it's possible, but it's, it's just hypothetically speaking, based off of what the tweet says, if you were to give Shalit Trunks' outfit, which is an outfit he's able to utilize in the game, he could get the hybrids tag. Do you know how I oh my god. Beast Gohan Han Shalit. Oh my god. I, oh, and not to mention God Key! I completely forgot about God Key. Just it, like putting the outfits to the side, God Key, Rose, Gogeta Blue, Shalit. Oh my god, like, you could literally, you could literally set up Shallot to work like how Ultra Super Gogeta works like. Again, with his special move being able to knock down the opponent's hand, Shallot can learn that move. So you can teach that to Shallot, throw Shallot onto God Key. I mean, by default, he would work apart from God Key because it's Saiyans. So it, it's, th this is much bigger than like maybe the tweet is putting it out to be or even the v-jump scan or however anybody else may perceive it this is much bigger than you guys may think if this is what we're getting on the 17th i'm fine not getting super saiyan blue for a while like again i mean of course i want super saiyan blue but this is massive that is massive this has never happened ever in Dragon Ball legends this has never happened like okay correction Maybe in like story mode and stuff, but that's story mode. Like, who cares? This is an actual unit that we have all attained because he's the first unit we all get access to. He's the, like, this is a unit that we have all attained that we can use freely. Who's upgrading from a hero unit to a sparking unit and is able to, you know, run rampant in PvE or PvP. That is incredible. That is absolutely incredible. So I'm super hype about all of this. But I do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. Again, this is actually massive news. And it I would say it's 100% it a reason to be hyped. So again, I do want to know what you guys think about all of this in the comment section below. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.